I think gelato and espresso make a great combination. On an afternoon, whether if it's a sunny afternoon, you can have a gelato. If, if it's not, you could sit down and have a warm espresso. Um, and the two just go together perfectly. And of course, when you combine them, you have your affogato. It's, it's just a wonderful delight. But I had always an interest in coffee. And after I retired, I realized I wanted something to do. And so I ventured into creating this small espresso bar. I mean, I didn't have a passion. I, I, I wish I did, but I didn't. I just knew that I, I needed to do something. And, you know, I discovered that I liked serving. I didn't imagine the gelato aspect. I added that later. I was just going to serve good coffee. And I thought I could do it. That's, that's the biggest reason. It, it was an interest. It wasn't a great passion. But I knew I would enjoy making really good coffee. Uh, my favorite right now is ricotta. Um, any chocolate I enjoy, but the ricotta carries this wonderful texture and savoriness. I try to get all my customers to uh, at least try it because I, I, I know they're going to like it. You know? I produce what I think is a really good gelato. What makes a good gelato? Uh, primary ingredients, good milk, good cream. But the, uh, the goal is to make it using the freshest ingredients that you find and wherever you are. So uh, gelato basically is made from sugars, cream, milk, and whatever fruit or flavoring you want to add. We combine our sugars, then combine our liquids. We then mix them together. We pasteurize that mix over a stove or a pasteurizer to a certain degree. And after that, we pour it into a batch freezer, which is the thing that makes gelato. The batch freezer I use is a very manual operation. Um, it helps me uh, look at it and pay attention to the gelato. And uh, it gives me a bit more responsibility. The reason I like making this type of gelato, which is artisanal, you know, very good gelato, is because it gives me um, something really uh, to aim for, is to produce that really good gelato. Yeah. Well, a good gelato, I believe, makes you feel better after you've eaten it. I've been drinking espresso my whole life, so when somebody hands me one, I'll look at it, and I, I, now, I know if it's gonna taste okay. Just by looking at it, there's certain stripes on the crema, the way it sits on the coffee when I troll it. Years ago, I bought a very high-end commercial machine for my home, and for years, I produced really good espresso at, the, at my house. So I was ready to make espresso on a bigger machine, and basically that's what I did. The espresso making part of this, of my bar, didn't come too difficult for me. I understood coffee, and I understood what kind of espresso I wanted to serve my customers. But I think that if people learn to enjoy an espresso, uh, it's a wonderful, simple pleasure. You just sip it back, it gives you that, uh, that hit you're looking for, and it's perfect. You come in, you take it, you walk out, and you feel you've been energized. And you don't have to carry a 10 ounce mug with you. What I enjoy about having a cafe is 
having something to do that I think carries something valuable. I, you know, I contribute something to the community. That's my simple answer. Yeah. yeah. Well, my goal for the shop is to be here for a long time, to keep up a cons consistency. I really want to make sure that the bar is always serves what I know it to be good food, good drinks, good gelato. That's my biggest goal. I don't want to disappoint people. And I want people to always enjoy coming here. It started as an interest, now it's a responsibility. And when I do it well, it becomes somewhat of a passion. Yeah.